So, our NASA controller, I have removed my temporary screws so that we can see where we are going to mount the controller. I just think this would be a good spot. And we also have mapped our engines. And we have motor one, this is the front right. So I'm just gonna connect motor one. And the signal wire goes to the bottom of the NASA. I'll check my sheets. It says motor 2 is front left. That is also the engine that has the back output. Engine number three is rear left. And finally engine four is rear right. And let's see if all those Cables will be just enough for this. Okay. And according to the manual, this is the wrong direction for the NASA controller. So what we're going to do is turn it. So it's pointed in the correct directions. The motor outputs are supposed to be in the front. And the receiver is towards the back of the plane. In our case, the back in the TBS Discovery. So we'll just check that the wires are, are free, no binding or no other issues. Looks just about perfect and our wires for the receiver. We need to check that they are long enough to reach Ports, no problem. So this is where we are about to mount the NASA. It's fairly on the spot of the CG. But this will be no problem at all. Then we have the little V-sense. That we are supposed to be mounted somewhere. We just hook it up into the NASA. The LED port for the cable with four wires, and the last one for X3. Make sure you turn them in the right direction. Place this NASA down again and see how much wire we have. We have a quite strong lead on the VSense unit, so it's kind of smart to mount it so that we can easily see it from down below. 
And on the booms we have the S controllers, so I'm a little bit fast of where I'm gonna mount this one. That's the clearance on the bottom side. It's quite good actually. I think we could just place Place the bottom, but that's that's not high enough. It's a nice mounting point. So what happens if we mount it in the rear boom just below? Power cables. What I'm thinking of is how much pollution in the air this little unit is putting out. So I think I will have a little thoughts of getting a good point to mount this on. I guess I need to check on some forums where people have mounted this one. I have been a little confused of where to mount this. I'm gonna just use the simple and mount it below. And uh, what I have done is I have pre-cut two double-sided sticky mountings. So first I'm gonna mount the NASA. These are the same pads used for mounting gyros on helicopters. So we are having a so anti vibration free as possible. Make sure we are mounting it straight. Pressing it a bit, and we need to flip our cord, and I'm just gonna mount it in the middle on the bottom. It will be really easy to see. battery and what mode it is flying in. And I'm just sticking it to the bottom. We'll firmly press it. So it's mounted simple on the bottom. And I'm checking the clearings. We have a couple of millimeters, so we're going to need to solder the two voltage measurements cable. And I'm simply going to use the plus and minus that are on the board, so it will be a rather simple operation. So then we are about to solder the VSense unit to the discovery board. I'm gonna use the two plus and minus pads already on the board. So we are 
resolder them. What I also will be doing to make it a lot simpler to get them to solder proper is pre-solder the wires. It's kind of tricky. It only has two hands. So then then we are just solder the cables to the board. cable first. It's kind of tricky to get a good good view in the camera. Uh, oh, I need some solder on the iron. I forgot about that. That's the plus. Um, Need some more solder on the iron. Go for the minus cable. Okay. Now our vsense is soldered to the TBS discovery board and it will get the same power supply as all other components.